Hey, love bucks, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, thank you so much for sending me just the beautiful vibes you send me throughout your messages and, you know, sending me blessings along my way as I do the same for you. And it's just opening up your hearts and your mind to different possibilities just to get you, you know, just a jump start on your current path and just to lead you towards the right direction. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit the notification bell so you'll know when I'm about to upload my next videos. If you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of the video or you're just opening up and tell me about your empathic gift and how it has impacted your life into you know basically how it's just turned around into going towards a positive direction so if you know the video has just gave you you know some powerful insight or you know just gave you some good validation or good information that you feel like you want to pass it on to a loved one of them please do so and even give me a thumbs up and even share on your social media favorites so i hope you're able to resonate with the video and thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and the meditation music that i'm listening to is Pure, clean, positive energy, vibration, meditation, music, healing music, relax, mind, body, and soul. And I will post that link in the description box below. Ugh, description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101, empaths, how to recognize your gifts and what to do with them. Um, one of my extended family members up in YouTube, you know, asked me a, a very very good question you know I love it when you love bugs you know request like videos like Rosalind can you do a video about this or you know I'm just wondering how I need to get this done and it was like she was wanting to know she was opening up and telling me about you know her situation which is very beautiful you, you can be able to recognize other people like that because some of us don't you know we do but it's just like if you're just now starting and you're not aware of how you know your gift is and how it works and you know even know what to look for all you can do is just like Google <laughs> the stuff that you know you 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 know that you're going through what kind of symptoms or characteristics characteristics that it follows behind it was like with me you know I was aware that I knew there was something special about certain things because I would see things that other people couldn't see I would feel things that other people would you know try to cloak from folks and I would be able to pinpoint it out when I was, especially when I was younger it was a lot stronger it seems like when we're little I guess we're so open to everything we don't we don't we don't cloud our judgment with fear so it's like as a child we're so free so we're able to experience a lot more things than you would probably as an adult if you didn't recognize what you were going through. So, you know, it's just like when you're, you know, you have to be able to recognize what your talents are, what has drawn you through, through your, you know, your, uh, your spiritual awakening. You know, what things did you know that stuck out to you that made you different from other people? You know, you could be a loner, but you could see you can actually see the, the beautiful and the beautiful things towards people, beautiful sights that other people can't see. You know, um, it's just the talents that, you know, make you unique about yourself. You know, it's just, I'm trying to find words for it because it's like, I was just like, okay, I got all this, you know, figured out. And then next thing you know, it's like when you ask spirit guides to help you with things, it's like you get so many downloads at one time and you're just like, wow, you know, because I've done this before. I'm, you know, currently doing it. And it's just like, you know, you could be a torch bearer. You could be a light worker. You could be an indigo, just, you know, telling your hardship of your story and it's like we we can impact people's lives that that's how it's like a virus of positivity of love and light can get started which we really need to do 
it's like you know I've made videos of you know your your pain had a purpose you know your pain was not in vain you know you you know everything has a reason for you going through it and it's like you know um, like I was making a video uh, about um, you know how this woman uh, lost her child to cancer and it was like she had impacted people's lives like you know we, especially if you're a parent you're basically going through this trial and tribulation with her but it opened up like a, a mass hysteria in a positive way where people want to contribute and do more research about trying to you know find the cure for you know leukemia or any kind of other cancer related illnesses that are especially when it's terminal but it's like you know that was set for an example it, it just takes like a riff in our life to really truly traumatize us for us to be able to impact somebody's life for us to see in your eyes what you had to go through what you know will open up probably some scars for us as well but it will be able to be able to reflect and say you know what I need to heal from these things and then you see all the positive things that you're going through that you might want to help with other people you know you've went through depression you went through anxiety and you might be you know uh, healing from all these things and so you know the gifts that you have it takes something traumatizing a lot of times for you to figure out these things are your gift even though it might seem like a blessing and a curse sometimes because of just of how you have found about it or you stumble upon it and you can use that as a positive tool for yourself you, you don't know what that you went through what your experience can uphold on somebody else's life for them to be able to look at life differently, to be able to accept love differently. Um, and you just, you have to really figure out your gift. It's like, I can't tell you what your gift is. It's like with, you know, when I was talking to Amanda, I can tell her what her gift was. It's just, just by the little story she had told me, the little snippet. And it was just like, wow, she's a torchbearer. You know, you can be a psychic or a medium clairvoyant telekinetic whatever you know uh, whatever gift it is you know the universe has placed upon you since birth um, it can be a positive tool towards yourself and other people to shine that light to show people exactly how to go because it's just so much madness that's going on in the world and we feel it each and every day we feel it from others just walking past us just you know passing a slip of paper just by saying hello you know, and there are some people that are ready to accept that, you know, okay, I'm going through these, you know, spot, you know, downward spiral situations because there's things in my life that I need to pay attention to. There's things that are, you know, heading my way that I can be able to use towards the things that has, have, you know, just traumatized me to bring me to that point. So you have to be able to see what talents you have in life that makes you different from other people what makes you unique what what can that gift bring to the table to push more positivity out to the world and how are you going to be able to use it to affect the, the world in a positive way affect yourself in a positive way you know every day I heal from different things and you know sometimes I might do it the ass backwards way you know because the universe shakes their head at me a lot like Rosalind why do you go about things the way you do I say even though I get the job done it might not have been the way they wanted me to but they're like okay we get it we get it but you know next time do it when we tell you to do it but it, it's just like when you're going through things like this you have to be able to recognize your gift and be able to embrace those things even though it might seem tragic or something that you downright can't believe but you never know when to you like dive deep and go within yourself to see what makes you tick what is the things that you know I know what you know what my trigger is to put me in a negative state but try to find more energy on what that trigger is to bring you in a positive state 
So you have to dive deep and see, you know, am I a hail, but am I, you know, a twin flame? You know, there's a, there could be one subject that we could be looking up and be aware, okay, this is what I am. But a lot of people do not know, you know, we're ignorant towards self, self-ignorance about the things that we we collaborate with different gifts, you know, um, that we have to look upon, you know, because things don't stumble in your life for, you know, for a reason, or I mean, not for a reason, but for accidents or coincidence. When you start reading about stuff that has something to do with alchemy, you need to start reading about things that has something to do with alchemy because it's like the universe bringing this information to you that download you know you can come blurt out and say a certain word and just like where did this come from look it up because there's a reason why these things are blurting out um of your mouth or there's things that are just you know you just pop up thinking about like where the heck did this did this come from why am I thinking about stuff like this because there's a reason why you know you ask for that answer this is what you get you know it might not be you know it might not make sense to you at that time but then you're gonna have that aha moment so you know you have to dive deep go within see the things that you you might not think hey is there a possibility because usually if you have to ask yourself that question you need to go investigate because you could be saying oh I do go through this oh I do have this habit of doing this or I do have this habit of backing up and do this so you have to really just dive deep and see what all things collaborate with the, the main thing you think you are because you might just come stumbling across oh I'm an empath and now you have found out oh I'm a Hayoka empath and then something else collaborates with that you know like oh I can tell things just by certain people you know just by their touch or just their energy oh, okay now I found out I'm clairvoyant then you know there's so many things we're multi-gifted so if you're like self ignorant and not know about the things that you have not known about for a while now it just took something traumatic or something very shocking <laughs> to go through your life for you to find out these things about yourself because it's just like we can say hey I know who I am you can't tell me who I am because a lot of folks we know who, what our name is what we did through life but we don't know what spiritual traits that we might carry it might take something that we probably shunned off or we didn't want to talk about because we worried about how people would think if we're crazy or not. But those things usually happen when you need to for them to happen. So dive deep, find out what you are about your, you know, find out things about yourself you might not have been aware of. You know, it's okay to not know about these things because we, you know, the answer comes when we need to have it at that time. So, you know, if you have any requests or any questions that you might want to ask for me to put and make a video, I would love for that because the universe is telling me I need to push out more videos. So, you know, go ahead and help me, you know, um, come up with more content for videos if you, you want some different things to be questioned, put it into a video, I, I would be happy to do that. You know, if I don't know about it, you know, I always try to find a uh, research and go ahead and do that into a video vlog. So, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Drop me a line, I love the chance to hear from you, and go ahead and drop me down a request on, you know, a video that you might want me to go ahead and upload for you and you know give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are blessed you are high, highly favored and know you are truly loved and know there's always somebody out there praying for your better days so i hope you're staying blessed prosperous and you know knowing there will be better days so i'll see you on my next video peace and be wise